Good morning, world. It is 2.36 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in Canada, East Coast of Canada, and the States, obviously, around the same time. And all you guys on the West Coast, you guys are, you guys are, you guys just want to, it's like 12.30 in the West Coast right now. Around there, right? So, Mandel Season 3, Episode 3 is streaming, uh, uh, like, any time now. So I'll watch my Lauren Season 3 today. Or tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow at night I'll watch it. And I'll make another video later on today in the afternoon when I wake up. Uh, I said I would make two, but I was tired. Um, I'll try my best to make two today. Well, I will make two today. You have one video to the early in the morning, and you have another one in the afternoon. I know you guys love my videos. You better enjoy why you're so can, because once I'm hanging out, I'm piecing out my wife. I keep saying that. My battery's getting low, and my charger's not working well. And my step parents have their charger upstairs, but they won't let me use it. So I only have like about 40% battery. So I'll probably make a quick 30 minute video here. I'll upload it. I'll watch it and I'll go to bed. Brush my teeth and go to bed. Have a smoke and go to bed, obviously. Alright, so I'll talk about the Matrix today. There's a high chance I will purchase the rights off the Matrix. Don't hit me, Canaries. You know what I'm saying? There's a high chance I might purchase the rights off the Matrix. The Matrix, uh... Sequels. But Warner Bros. has to agree to delete... Resurrections. And I have to get through a college system on board to co-write, co-exec produce, and uh, direct my movie. So the Matrix Four, I will not write it, but I'll, I'll take my notes for the for the Matrix Four movie. And I'll take a, a bit of notes for Matrix Five and Six, but like I'll be a script supervisor or not a script supervisor, a script. Um, I'll be a script consultant for my movies. Me and Vijay can be script consultants, but we're not writing it. So while they write the script, I'll be in the room with them, the board with them, and they write the script. Okay, this is my idea for the beginning, and they write they write down the screenplay. Obviously, because after Zane's, I am never writing another script ever again. As writing the script is a lot of work, man. And because you're the, I'm the boss, I'm not going to write my scripts. Because I want, because I have, I'm the one who came up with the story. I'll, I'll consult, but I'm not going to write it, obviously. Because I have like the whole Matrix. I have a good chunk of the Matrix Four movie in my mind. Because I'm very creative. I kind of know what I want. I want to happen. In the beginning, in the middle, in the end. I don't know really what I want to happen in the end, but I know what I want to happen in the beginning and the middle. So the middle of the movie is one that. Um, VJ and and, and 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 what? Uh, about around the middle of the movie is when my, my mind gets freed, and I and I, and I wake up in the real and I meet meet the people in the Zion all. So that's around the middle of the movie, when Michael Jordan finds that I'm the one. Uh, that's around that time. The Matrix Four movie, I'm, I I wanted it to be at least a good three hour a three hour movie, three hour for two hour forty five three hour movie. How we tell an amazing story, and you give Michael Jordan all of them a good chunk of scenes. You want, it's good to give Ben Affleck and all of them, Michael Jordan, at least a good like hour, and at least a good hour of scenes, man. Hour and like fifteen minutes of scenes. I don't pay a lot of money for nothing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure. Okay, guys, make sure you give like Ben Affleck and like Michael Jordan all of them a lot of a good chunk of scenes. I'm the main character, but give them a good chunk of scenes. I don't pay them a lot of money for for for, for, for they're not that they're not they're not that present in the movie. No, give them a good chunk of scenes. there so if i do the matrix 4 i will not do the five movies if i don't do the matrix 4 i'll do the five movies we'll see what happens we'll see that's why keanu reeves is hoping and praying i do the great escape i saw the john mcfortune by the way i can't wait to see that well, the movie looks dope i'm gonna watch that on theaters avatar i was i keep postponing it but i heard avatar is coming to disney plus on march 28th I don't know if I'm going to see it on theaters. I might just watch it at home. I'll order pizza and I'll watch it at home on my TV. But Avatar is the kind of movie you got to see at the theaters. But John Wick 4, I'm going to see it on theaters. That looks dope, man. I saw the trailer. You see Keanu. He's kicking ass. Yeah, I think something like that for The Great Escape. 
This will be amazing. Yeah, an amazing movie. Who's there? That's why I need to have that talk. I need to have that talk with, uh... I need to have that talk with, uh... With VJ and my team. Hey, VJ, do you want to do... The Great Escape? Do you want to do The Great Escape? Their unique romance or do you want to do The Matrix? Well, I don't know. The Matrix shows, ah, that's tough, Ivan. Let's do the Matrix, Ivan. I'm saying the Matrix is fucking cool, yeah. But I might the higher chance I will do the five over over the uh the, the great the, the Matrix because the, the Warner Bros owns the rights for the Matrix, right? I'm just speaking hypothetically here. So my deal for Warner Bros is two billion dollars for the rights to make the three movie sequels. And the um. And the three games, Unreal five games. Technology and uh, sell the sequel merch. That's my. That's a good deal. As realistically speaking, I should be giving you a couple hundred million dollars for this, for the rights. So I'm, I'm purchasing the rights. I'm not purchasing the whole brand. I'm just purchasing the rights to make the sequels. Just like um, Amazon purchased the rights to make the Lord of the Rings prequel show, right? The Rings of Power. Yeah, it's similar there. But I'm 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 gonna I'll overpay. I'm going to take out the checkbook and overpay Warner Bros. I'll give you two billion bucks, which is one point two billion dollars after taxes. That's a good deal for you guys. That's a good deal, Ivan. Mean, like you're, you're being generous. That's but you're, you're overpaying us. Yeah, I'm overpaying. It's a good deal. Because I know I'm going to make billions off my movies, the, the Matrix brand becomes worth a bit more. I can pay them more money. Pay them two billion for the rights of this of the sequels. That's my deal for David Zaslav. And I have terms. You have to get the costs. I have to get the costs on board to co-write, direct, and executive produce my movie. And you have to erase a resurrections from the face of the earth. I don't want to solve anyone. That movie was terrible. It was garbage. It was a garbage movie, some terrible. I don't want it what? I don't want it sold anywhere worldwide. If you don't agree to my terms, I'm not I'll just make the great scale encounter using that their unique romance story. But again, amazing movie for those movies, man. Their unique romance story with me and VJ. And the Great Escape and EVJ are secret agents were kicking ass. You gotta see VJ kicking ass, me kicking ass. That's an amazing movie for that, yeah. And I'll make the Matrix 4 for like $685 million. A bit more. Six. I'll make it for six seventy to $700 million. Because I gotta create room to pay. I have a lot of aliasers in that movie. I have like, I don't know, six aliasers, eight aliasers in the movie. You gotta create room to pay them your salaries, and you gotta, you gotta, you gotta what? But for Matrix Four, I'm only gonna put like two, two, like twenty five, two forty million towards visual effects. That's enough for a movie like that. Whereas Zayas, you gotta pimp that up, man. You gotta put like six hundred million towards visual effects for that. It's a fancy world. Whereas the Matrix, you only need to put like two hundred twenty five, two thirty million towards visual effects. It's enough. So I'll have enough money to pay all all the stars there are uh, the rich contract, obviously. And that's why you can't have any more than like two or three bigger aliasers. I only have like two bigger aliasers or three perhaps for, for Matrix. Ben Affleck and, 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 and John Krasinski. And then I'll have maybe one bigger actor, maybe Helly Berry. Or I can have Kate Beckinsale. Kate Beckinsale is a smaller aliaser. So she's glad to do a movie for me for like $9.8, $10 million. She's glad to do a movie for me for that money. $10 million. It's cheaper. She's only worth around like thirty million bucks. Yeah, pay her ten. You give her like ten million dollars in royalties. That's a good deal for her. Okay, nine million in royalties. It's a good deal for Kate Beckinsale, whoever I hire, right? Whereas Scarlett Johansson, I don't see her in the Matrix. I don't think she's good for the Matrix, but she's good for the Great Escape. I can picture her in the Great Escape, obviously. That's why Scarlett and Keanu are hoping and Javi Bar are hoping and praying I do the Great Escape. Whereas Ben Affleck is hoping I do the Matrix, Michael B. Jordan is hoping I do the Matrix. You know what I'm saying? And Brie Larson and John Krasinski are praying I do the Matrix because they know the Great Escape is a one and done. Whereas the Matrix is like a trilogy, and if I do a trilogy, they're, they're going to be saved for like nine, ten years of their life, or to experience that fame with Ivan and Vijay for, for for ten years of their life. Yeah, it's an amazing feeling, obviously. And that's why I, if I do the Matrix after the three movies, they're all going to beg their asses off. 
Because they were used to being saved for like 10 years of their life, man. 9, 10 years of their life, yeah. So that's what I'm doing for Wonderfuls. Ivan, you're going to make Unreal Engine 5 games? I'm like, yeah, holy shit. Like our Matrix Awakens demo we did years back? I'm like, yeah, 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 a game like that. I mean, that's expensive. Yeah, I'm pouring like four, six million towards a game. Holy shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the most expensive game ever made. Yeah. That's why looking at a re looking at a revolution of technology for Xenus as well as the Matrix. I'm making it for almost $700 million. And you also have a revolution of technology for the Xenus game and the Matrix 4 game. It's really amazing. Or the Grey Escape game. Look at revolution of technology for my games too. Yeah. That's why my coffee will blow all the way out of the water. My company will blow Hollywood out of the water, yeah, man. Ivan, will you be sad if you can't get The Matrix? No, because I'll, 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 The Greatest Tape will be an amazing movie, too. I have a, I have a backup plan, obviously. If I can't get one of to leap to agree to my terms, I'll just do the five movies. I'll do The Greatest Escape with Keanu Reeves, and I'll do that romance story with VJ. Here's the thing, though. I really want to do that romance story with VJ, too, man. I want to have a romance story with me and my wife. Beautiful music, you know what I'm saying? But The Matrix, me and VJ are, are going to be lovers in the movie, obviously. First first one, we're not lovers. VJ despises me. In the end, she, she falls in love with me. And she kisses me also. In the second movie, we were lovers. Just like Keanu Reeves and Trinity become lovers in the second movie, obviously. Something similar to that, yeah. And like we, Jordan, I'll have him chosen for The Matrix. He'll be the grandson of Naomi, not the great grandson. That's too long. It's like seven years later. Have him, have him be the uh, the grandson of Naomi and Morpheus. So Morpheus and Naomi get married eventually, and they have a kid. And, and, and then their their kid's kid is Michael B. Jordan. So their 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 daughter or son's kid is Michael B. Jordan. And it's like two generations later. It's like seven years later since the revolutions. And Michael B. Jordan is a, is a grandson of Naomi and Morpheus. Sarah. And Morpheus and Naomi died like, I don't know, 20 years ago they died. And then and Mike B. Jordan's a grandson. As I might have flashbacks with 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 with, with Naomi and Morpheus in the movie. Before they when they're old, before they die and all stuff, and younger Mike B. Jordan, you can do that if you want. It'd make it more interesting. But I won't most likely you won't do that, but like Mike B. Jordan, my plan is that he's the um he's the uh He's a great, he's a grandson of Naomi and Morpheus. Is that right? Ivan, how does Agent Smith come back? Yeah. In Revolutions, when uh, Smith copied himself onto Neil, Neil became the Neil Smith. The machines were not able to destroy Neil's body, and in doing so, they were able to destroy the Neil Smith and destroy all Smith's, cl Smith's clones. Is that right? But, so Smith was now a part of Neil. It's a Neil Smith. Two persons in one body. The bodies of both Smith and Neil were destroyed. But their spirits lived on. Remember in the end when the Oracle was like, yeah, Neil's smiling at us. You know what I'm saying? Neil's spirit lived on. Because Neil's like a god. His body died, but his spirit didn't die. He was with them, obviously. In some sense, right? The program was never fully destroyed. So, so Smith duped the Oracle, he duped the Architect, and he even duped Neo. And Neo thought, Neo, because Neo was not the Chosen One, he couldn't defeat Smith. Remember in End of Revolutions, and if you fail, I won't. Well, Neo failed, he couldn't defeat Smith. He failed, obviously. And the Oracle was like, you know what I'm saying? Let, let, let me have a look at you. Ah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He's like, you already know what I'm going to tell you. I'm not the one. Sorry, kiddo. You got the gift, but it seems like you're waiting for something. Another life, maybe. Yeah, he was waiting for, for his dad to become the one, but he was never really the chosen one. Because he's a six one. He's, he's, a, he's a lucky, uh, he's, he's, he's not, he's not, he wasn't lucky. Neil lost the love of his life. He made errors. He took the door on the left when he, when he should have taken the door on the right. Had he taken the door on the right, he would have saved Zion right there and then. But in doing so, he would have lost all his friends, obviously. Friends and his love of his life. Yeah, if you take... The door on the right, you're never going to see Trinity. You're never going to see Morpheus, all those guys. 
when when you're gonna at least save Zion, or you go into the Matrix, you're gonna see your you're gonna see you get to save Trinity temporarily, right? You get to see Morphic and all of them, but you have you now have to, to, to face Smith, who who you could not defeat, obviously, and Trinity died anyways. The Ark the Ark even told Neo, oh she's gonna die, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, she, you're gonna save her, but she's gonna die later on anyways. And Neil was like, if I were you, I, w- I hope we don't speak again. He's like, we won't. Because Neil was not too bright. I'm going ha- to put it in the beginning of the movie with the flashbacks. You have all these scenes. When Neil's life, when he meets the Oracle and stuff, the Oracle tells Neil, you're not the one. You're not too bright. You're waiting for another life, maybe. Yeah. Another life, the way, the, another life is, is interpreted to mean that he had to die to become the one. But at the same time, in, in some sense, I have the same essence as Neo, so it's another life, another one, and, and, and but I'm a different person. So I have the same essence as Neo, but I'm a different person. I'm not the same one. Same essence, same spirit, but different person. Just like the other ones before Neo have the same essence, the same source code, but they're different persons. They look different. You see what I'm saying? And I am the seventh one. I am the lucky one to stop Smith once and for all. And I have the power to defeat him. In the third movie, the Oracle tells me, yeah, never let Smith copy the law to you. Never make that mistake again. Never make this the, the grand error that, that Neil did, that Thomas Anderson did. See, Sarah? That's really an amazing story, yeah. Man. It's an amazing story. You're looking... An amazing story, man. Yeah, man. So when Smith comes back into the Matrix, that's what causes the deja vu in, in, in the Matrix. So I'm gonna start the movie. You start the movie off with the flashbacks, and you get the black screen, and you get the code, and it says the Matrix deja vu. Remember how in the beginning of Matrix when it transfers to Trinity, when she's about the, the, when the cops are about to detain her in that building. No, Lieutenant, your 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 men are already dead. You know what I'm saying, something like that. And it starts off with a family. The family goes home, and, and then when they go to the house, obviously they see it. Though their kids see a black cat. Is there? And then another black cat walks by, just like it. Hey, hey, mom, dad, we saw a black cat. Another black cat that looked just like it walked by, and her parents are oh, a deja vu. You know what I'm saying? That's a joke. And that's when you get the electricity forming from the ground, and the body of uh, Smith, the program of Smith forms in a full adult human form. So he fo- he forms in a full adult human form because he's a program. He's not human. It represents that. That's how you know the agents are not human. They're programs, obviously. And then three agents form behind him. And then and, and, and then Smith is like any anomalies. You know what I'm saying? And the agents are like, no anomalies. The last anomaly known, Thomas Anderson, also known as Neo, deceased 70 years ago. And they mock Keanu Reeves. And, and, and Smith laughs. <laughs> Even Neo, the one himself, couldn't defeat me. They mock Neo because Neo was not the, the chosen one. Well, he's sure you great. That's very great. And you have this like creepy music. Like, da 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 da. The, the, the like, kind of like Terminator. Don't copy Terminator. Like, when, when Agent Smith forms, it's not like Terminator, but it's similar to Terminator. You got this electricity, and you see the green code, and his body forms. That's how he comes back in, into the Matrix. And that causes the deja vu. And a couple hours later, the one is born as a baby. The reason why the one is born as a baby is because he's actually human, but he has a machine birth in the, in, in the Matrix, but a biological birth in the real world, which represents him being half man, half machine. That way you honor... The Rokasa story is this. This honor, yeah, I'm not honor. Is it? We, we weren't very, very specific when we when when Morpheus said the one was born inside. Yeah, it said the one was born inside. How is he born inside? That's the only thing I can think of, obviously. There. And in doing so, you get this viral thing going on in the Matrix. A lot of people are seeing things change in their house and all that stuff. And the oracle's in her. I don't know, you got a scene where the oracle she's baking, uh, she's baking cookies with the kids and all stuff in, 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 in the apartment, and she hears this, 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 this like a lot of people like a lot of people in the hallway yelling and all stuff. What the fuck is going on in my house and all stuff? And the oracle's like, is something wrong? 
He's like, did, did you hear? He's like, what? Apparently, apparently, uh, apparently I, I'm seeing changes in my house. Some, something changed in my house. Like, what? That's impossible. How could that possibly happen unless... He's like, oh my God. It's like deja vu. He's like, he's back. Smith is back. And she takes out her cell phone. She calls the architect and they meet in the parking lot. And in the, in the park, and she's, just, she's just down. You know what I'm saying? Look at amazing movie. And then Smith has returned. And they go to this abandoned building where Neo first met Morpheus like 70 years ago. And the place is abandoned. And all the stuff is still there. And they go through this mirror. And that, that's a gateway for the Oracle or an architect to enter the machine world. And they, and they, they talk with the machine. But one must be reborn. Smith has returned. And Smith is like, the, 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 the machines are, are, are what? And how can that be? We destroyed them. 70 years ago, he says, Smith has, Smith has duped us all. Yeah. Smith has fooled us all. We may have underestimated him, yeah. But only the one could defeat him, and the one, the, the one is born. And the reason why the one is born is because the moment Smith comes back into into, into, into the Matrix, because Neo, because the one is the opposite of of Smith, uh, negative positive, obviously, the one is also born. Something happens, and you get this seed. I don't know how it's going to work. We have to discuss it with the Ricardo sisters. You get this seed that forms in the goo, and then the, the, you get the biological birth of the one in, in the Matrix. And the moment the machines plug the plug on the back of the baby, the one is now born in the Matrix. Look at an amazing story, Adam. Holy shit, I'm your creative. That's a very creative. I know how to tell a good story. I'm a creative genius, man. I know how to tell a good story. You see what I'm saying? Why it's tough for me to choose between Great Escape and the Matrix? Because they're both... They're, they're both you know, I mean, all your movies sound like, like masterpieces. Yes, I'm a genius. I don't want to tell a good story. And once I tell the Warrior Bulls execs and what kind of this is my story, Ivan, that's your idea for the story? I'm like, yeah, sign me up, Ivan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Ivan, you offered me a, us a boatload of money. Because they're, they're greedy. Ivan, you better offer, offer us a lot of money. Yeah, is this a lot of money, Ivan? That's a good deal. We don't make this in Hollywood. Yeah, it's a good deal. I can give you $50 million in royalties for the first movie. I can give you 55 for the second and $60 million for the third. A good deal for you guys, and I'll pay you like 16 million salary and like a four million, five million bonus. Four million bonus, I can pay you, and I'll pay you guys. I'll pay you guys your uh, I might have to pay the kind of sister's salary out of my pocket because these actors are gonna be costing a lot of money. I can pay you guys out of my pocket, um, your, your, your base salary and your bonuses. Your post money bonus can be paid through the budget. Your salary, I can pay, and your bonuses, I can pay out of my pocket. That way it doesn't affect the budget. Because I got to pay Michael B. Jordan all a lot of money too, right? That's why Michael and them are all hoping I, we're all hoping I do the Matrix. Ivan, please do that Matrix. I want to be a part of that unidentified game. I want to be a part of that story, Ivan. Yeah. And they want to be safe for 10 years of their life. I got an amazing movie, man, yeah, man. Anyway, I might make a longer video than three. I might go maybe for 40 minutes. We got an amazing movie, yeah, man. Give me a sec, guys. I'm gonna go get something in the oven. Be back in a sec. Don't hate me. I'll sit up. Sit up. Don't wait. Alrighty guys, I'm back. 
I went to get something to eat. I made some uh, some cheddar bacon sausages upstairs in the oven. So you're gonna have to excuse the noise. I'm gonna eat my, I'm gonna be eating my food while I'm talking, obviously. That's why I'm looking at an amazing story for the Matrix. Yeah, but look at an amazing story. The life of the one in the Matrix. There's something amazing to that. And I'll make that movie a good three hours to two hours and like 45 minutes long. Even a bit over, I don't mind going a bit over three, maybe three hours and ten minutes. Because if you really want to tell that powerful story, you got to make it, make it long. Because a two-hour video with Ivan and Vijay is nothing. Trust me, a two-hour video with Ivan is nothing. It's going to go by so fast. you got to make it at least two hours and 45, three, hour long, three hours long. And we tell a good story. You give your actors a good chunk of scenes, too, obviously. Your supporting characters a good chunk of scenes, obviously. And if I do that movie, I will take... I'll sign Michael, Bree, and all them to their massive contract. You guys know how much I want to pay them. And you take them out to a nice dinner for that movie, too. You're going to see how excited they all are. You know what I'm saying? And if I do The Matrix, Peter might ask me, Ivan, what are you doing next? I'm like, yeah, I might be doing The Matrix or The, or the Great Escape. The Matrix, Ivan? Like, is this, is this like a continuation of Re Re Resurrections, Ivan? I'm like, I'm like no. Oh, Ivan, how's that? Ivan, how are you the one? Like, they, Neo was destroyed. I tell Peter Jackson um, what I just told you earlier about my story. He's all blown away. Holy shit, Ivan, deja vu. Huh? You're creative, Ivan. Yeah, that, that's that's the best way to bring him back. I'm like, yeah, I'm very creative, obviously. I was born with a gift. I'm very creative. I was born with a gift. I'm very creative. I was born with a gift. I'm very creative. That's why the Matrix will be an amazing story. So you'll see Michael B. Jordan, uh, in the, um, you'll see the older Michael B. Jordan and VJ towards like halfway through the movie. You'll see them. I'll have maybe a few scenes with them while I'm my, I'm, I'm growing up in the Matrix. But like it's not until they meet with the Oracle that's when you see more scenes with Michael and VJ and all them. And the Oracle tells Michael that I have bad news. Smith has returned, and as long as three other agents with him, and Michael B. Jordan's like, what the fuck? How's that, Paul? You mean this whole time he's been alive in the Matrix? He's like, yes. You know what I'm saying? How, how are we supposed to stop him? None of us can beat the agents, yet alone Smith. I, I, have, I also I have good news. It's like, what? He's like, the one, the one is the one has been born in the Matrix. The one has been born in the Matrix. It's like, Neo, the one? No, no, no. This is the seventh one, the new one. He, and he's, like, he's like, okay. And then she, and she, she tells Michael, you will find the new one. And she, he, Michael's like, you know who he is, don't you? The Oracle is like silent. He's like Michael, uh, Messiah. You know, I'm saying it, it, it is your destiny to find him, not mine to tell you. you know what I'm saying Michael Jones off Fletcher. Why don't you just tell me who he is? You know what I'm saying. Yeah. The Oracle tells me that she will love the new one. He's like love him. I don't even know him. I'm not interested in these guys right now. I was like, trust me, you you will. When you see him, you will see why you like him. And she has a fine love me, obviously. Again, amazing story for that man. Amazing story. A masterpiece.
You're looking at an amazing sort of masterpiece. And you have a scene where Mike B. Jordan, he's in, uh, he tells Nebuchadnezzar that Smith has returned at the one has been born. Uh, the whole Nebuchadnezzar are all like freaking out. They're like angry. What the fuck? Neil Phil listens to them. He's just like, don't say that. It's like, Neil saved us. He saved the Matrix. He saved Zion. You know what I'm saying? And Mike B. Jordan, you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh yeah? And look around. You know what I'm saying? He's like, Agent Smith is, he said, he's like, look around, you know what I'm saying? Agent Smith has returned with three other agents with him that none of us can take. Let's look at my saving to me, man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you picture Michael yelling, you know what I'm saying? And then me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's all frustrated. And you've got a scene where Michael, he's like at the grave of his, of his grandparents. And you see the grave of Trini and Neil, obviously. So Neil's body and Trini's body are not buried there, but they're still honored there. The death is so they have the, 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 the death is so honored at the grave. You know what I'm saying? He's like he's like Morpheus, Naomi, I wish you were here. I wish you were here to guide me, you know what I'm saying? You would know you you found the former one. You would you, you would know what to tell me, you know what I'm saying? He's like, Neil, how can you fail us like this? You know what I'm saying? And he leaves the grave area and he goes to bed and he can't sleep. Or he, he 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 sleeps obviously. Yeah, he can't sleep obviously, and he he goes out the balcony and he opens the door and VJ hears the noise of the door, and she follows him. And she says, "You can't sleep." He's like, "He's like, I can't sleep. I gotta find him. You know, what I'm saying? I gotta find him, man. I, I gotta find him before before they find out about him." Like, Don't worry, you'll find him. You know what I'm saying? He's like, he's like, he's like easy, it's easy for you to say. All you gotta do is love the man. <laughs> Holy shot, you're great. Yeah, I'm very great. Yeah, I can picture Michael saying that. Yeah, man, I'm creative. You know what I'm it's easy for you to say, all you gotta do is love him, man. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm creative. You know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is love him, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 yeah. Then Michael B. Jordan said, hey, you wanna go clubbing? You know what I'm saying? What? Yeah, the Oracle side should go clubbing and take, maybe, take, take my mind off things. And VJ's like, hey, what, what if she gave you a clue? What if, what if, what if he's there at the club that we're going to? You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? There's many clubs in the majors, yeah, but there's one that everyone goes to. You know what I'm saying? They all know about that club. You know, and then Mike B. Jordan wakes up the operator. I don't know, KJ Apple, the Cisco actor. He wakes up. He's like, what? What do you want? He's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like plug us into the matrix. Uh, you do know that Agent Smith is now back in the matrix with three agents with him, right? You do know if they catch you or find you, they will kill you, right? Yeah, don't worry about it. We'll keep it low-key, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sorry, character. 